Hi, my name is Jordan Stein, and I'm a curator. I'm going to tell you about Chiffonier, a painting, and our inspiration realized, a drawing by Miyoko Ito. Chiffonier is a painting by Chicago artist Miyoko Ito that was made in 1971. For many who knew Miyoko or collected Miyoko's work or saw it a lot during her lifetime, and she died in the early 1980s, there's a commonly held belief that all of her works are self-portraits. It's fair to say that in this painting, Miyoko thought, well, maybe I'm a chest of drawers. It might sound sort of peculiar, but chest of drawers is a really unique piece of furniture because it's got a facade and lots of stuff tucked in underneath it. There are parts of us that are accessible or inaccessible or opened or closed to various places, various people. It's a compelling way to think about Miyoko Ito's life because she's not just rendering something of a self-portrait in bodily form. It's also something of a mental or metaphysical self-portrait. Our Inspiration Realized is a drawing on paper made by Miyoko Ito in 1960, so it's 11 years before Chiffonier. It really looks quite bodily, intestinal. The early hard-edged abstract forms of her college education has really given way to a looser, more interconnected style. It's easy to imagine this work as a kind of x-ray onto somebody's person, chest or torso, with all kinds of funny folds and curves and tubes. Miyoko was very aware of the fact that the body is a landscape, and that the landscape of the body isn't just limited to our physical existence, but there are many contours of our inner life that are not only unknown to us, but changing all the time. That was one of her central preoccupations in the work. And I think it becomes increasingly strange, mysterious, and exquisite, and refined over the course of her lifetime. I came to Chicago for a relatively short stay in the year 2015 to develop an archival exhibition for the Renaissance Society Contemporary Art Museum at the University of Chicago. And while I was there, I went to visit with an artist who lived in the area for many decades. And after I did a studio visit with him, we went back to his house and he ordered us some pizza for dinner. And there was an astonishing painting over the couch that I'd never seen before. His relationship with it, as he came to explain to me, was remarkably personal. He had known Mio he was convinced that she was the greatest unsung artist of the second half of the 20th century. And he told me that every morning he gets up and he has his coffee and he communes with the painting. There is a big, broad trend, not just in art and art history, but across what you might understand as the culture right now, in discovery or rediscovery of artists and others who fell through the cracks for whatever reason. And I think that one reason, maybe the biggest reason, is regionalism. Miyoko is not alone it's making incredible work in Chicago that just doesn't get beyond the Midwest. Another big reason is racism. She was a Japanese-American artist. It would have been very difficult for her to assimilate into a broader mode or movement, even if she had wanted to at that time which I think is related to the third reason, which is kind of radicalism or, or radicality. The artwork that Miyoko Ito makes bridges um, the worlds of abstraction, representation, figuration, how she's able to simultaneously describe the mind, the body, the world, and discrete artifacts in it is profoundly unique.